okay so as one of our projects i want us to um, write a script that allows a user to log in okay a script that does validation all right so i want us to write it in two ways the first way um okay let's start by writing a class so the first way will be object oriented and then the second way will be a functional uh, oriented way of doing it okay so what are we trying to accomplish here we are going to allow a user to input his username and password okay and we will now take this username and password and cross check to see if it is correct or not if it is wrong then we would have to log him out or stop the code but if it is correct um then we will we would probably do something all right this is usually useful for back end okay so this is for those who want to do back end in in, in um let's say django or in other frameworks okay so let's start i'm going to start by creating a class called login that's the name of the class all right and we will define an initializing method for it so we we'll initialize this class all right and we will give it a use we will take username from the user and then password from the user all right and then um after we do that we will okay so let's just say self dot username oh self dot username equals to username like this and then self dot password equals to password like this all right so that's the initializing part so now that the the user so whenever the user wants to call this method uh, this class he would have to say login login then it will ask for username and password right so that's how the initialization work i think we already explained that when we were doing the object oriented programming okay so let's create um a function here we'll call it validate okay so let's say validate and then this validate takes self okay so we'll do it in such a way that we we'll just make it uh, a function that validates so we'll say if username um self dot username sorry if self dot username equals to let's let's give it for now a, a hard coded name and password so that will be self dot password equals to so let's say if the password equals to pass like this all right let me just move this guy across like this so equals to pass so that means if this condition is true so if the user gives us his name and his password and we see that the name is justin and then the password is called pass or is pass then for now let's just print login successful right login successful all right and then but um so it means else you would just say something like um, print login field, right? So this is a simple um, a simple back end program, okay? A simple back end program that validates. So let's just say whenever the user whenever the user creates this fun this method and eh, this class, he would have to give a username so let's say he gives a username like this and a password like that and then dot validate then we validate it okay so if we do this and run it's going to say login field because well the name and the password are wrong but if we give the right name and then the right password it's going to say login successful All right so you can attach a code like this to your program to your interface or your back end all right now i want us to try i'm going to comment this one out so i want us to try to um um do it in a function in a functional 
in a functional way so let's just say def login okay so this one would take um a username right and a password like this all right so what's the difference between what I, I did before and what I am doing now now what I'm what I did before this is just a class all right so for this class what it means is um I wanted I want it I want the user to have a number of tries okay so I want the user to have a number of tries what am I saying if the user inputs the wrong password allow the user to try again if the user inputs the wrong password allow him to try again if he inputs the wrong password then you tell him that okay this is the third time so I will not accept it anymore go and see your administrator something like that so um that's what I want to implement in this part so let's just upgrade it a little so it's called def login all right so over here would let's create a parameter called number of tries so let's say we he's allowed to try three times okay so I'll just say while <clears throat> um, let's um, so while tries so let's say while tries is is greater than zero which means it's not zero or less than zero so while tries is greater than zero this is where we'll do the validation we'll say um username so we'll get his username and that's the difference between the previous one and this one so the previous one you would have to input um you would have to input the information through a class but in this case you are doing it through the function so we don't it's not from the initialization um i'm i'm sure when i'm done you will understand what i'm trying to explain so In this case it will allow the user to give his username and password okay so that whenever he gives we'll say if username equals to let's do it like the first one equals to Justine like this um, and password um, password equals to let's say pass like this all right whilst password is equals to pass like this um bring this one down a little make this one okay whilst it calls to pass like this then what should you do print um login successful right and because it's in a while loop you break the while loop okay so login successful then you end all right um else if if that's not true if he has given the wrong information then we will start by decreasing the tries so currently it's three so we we'll decrease it by one right so i'll say it's something like this by one okay tries minus equals one and then we'll now print um login failed all right let me start this one with um let me start this one with a backslash so that we we'll get space. All right, login field, and then if login field, you now print something like um, this tries remaining or left or something like that. Yeah, remaining. You want to tell him how many tries are left. Okay so you print this number of tries are remaining okay so yeah let's try to run this code and then see oh yeah we didn't call it so let's call it i'm going to go down over here so i'm going to say what's the name login right i'm going to call the login function like this so this time when i run it it should um what login missing two arguments oh okay let's remove these ones because i don't need them here because we are already going to get them from over here so i can remove these and then run okay so when you run it it's going to ask you for a username so let's give it a wrong username and a wrong password so this time it allows us to try again it says login field two tries remaining wrong username wrong password one try is remaining um, so now when I say when I give it the right username and then the right password 
it should say login successful all right let's do it in such a way that if the user gives more than the number of tries available then we'll tell him we'll block the account and tell him to see the administrator so as the user keeps um giving the wrong details i'll say if tries is equals to zero okay so that means um he has done so many and there's zero tries remaining okay so if tries equals to zero um print um something like this contact admin contact admin all right something like that or we could say account block yeah Let's just say contact admin because he has not been able to log in, so there's no need to block the account. Okay, so if he tries up to three times and then the tries is, is out, then we will say, um, um, what's the name? Contact admin, then you break, all right? So I'm sure, I think the break is necessary here, right? Yeah, so contact admin, then you break. So let's see. He gives a wrong username and a wrong password. Let me just bring it here. He gives a wrong username, wrong password, wrong username, wrong password, wrong username, and wrong password. Good. Login field. Zero tries remaining. Contact the admin. And basically, that's how it's. That's 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 it's basically. So you can see that it's um. Well, it's not, it doesn't have an interface, but it makes sense. It's able to receive information and validate. The difference between this one and this one is that for this one, the user is allowed to keep inputting his name or and password, like he's allowed to keep changing it, all right? But for this one, it's like um, some kind of once, it's, it's a once thing. So you just check to see if it's true. If it's not true, you end it nothing like try again you understand so yeah you can you can put you can try these out and try to put them on your back end and hopefully it should work out All right.